And there we go. Full time. Oh. Round of applause. That first half was unreal. So as you can probably hear, I've literally just finished the game. Let's go ahead and close this down. Oh man. I've been wanting to record this video since the first half because that was just... Oh. That was Wenger ball. That really was. That's what we've wanted to see since Wenger joined, right? He said that's what he would bring to the club. And in fairness, he did throughout many times um, through this long career that he's had at Arsenal. It is just an absolute joy to watch like that. It really is. The confidence, the belief, it was really there specifically in the first half. A complete change to our last match, which was a really poor first half and a better second half. Today, it was all about the first half. The second half was, I mean, we'd, we'd already pretty much sealed the deal, I would say. You know, we can go to Russia and lose 2-0 and still progress. 3-0 wouldn't be enough, obviously, because of the away goals rule. But 4-1 on the night. And I just want to go ahead and say, Aaron Ramsey is back, boys and girls, if there are any girls watching this. There is just no doubt about it that Aaron Ramsey is in the form of his career right now. A couple of years ago, the season when he scored that absolute screamer against Galatasaray, it was just an unbelievable season for him. It's taken him this long to get back to that, that form. He's been in and out of the team a little bit this year through injuries, you know, just not making it into the team sometimes. But when he has played, boy, he's played. He has been amazing for us when he's played this season. I absolutely love the guy. And it's frightening that... This time next year, he's almost out of contract. We need to tie him and Jack Wilshere down. That little trio of, in midfield with... Um, what's his name? Granny Xhaka. My mind's gone blank. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm operating on four hours sleep right now. It's getting late as well. Xhaka, CDM, Wilshere and Ramsey just ahead of them. Mkhitaryan, Ozil and Lacazette. Tonight, that was just perfection. It really was. And to think, you know... Lacazette on the bench. We've got a few other players that we could have brought on. Welbeck has actually played relatively well recently. You know, Iwobi came on and did a job somewhat. A couple of chance, uh, couple of chances miss, miss. I think what we saw tonight, though, especially with the goal we conceded, which was an incredible free kick um, by a player that actually Arsene Wenger has said many times he would like to have at Arsenal. I think it's uh, Golovan, Golovin. Um, you want to call him Golovin, just because that sounds so cool. He scored an absolutely beautiful free kick. You know, unsavable. Not many keepers in the world would have got close, let alone Petr Cech, who's about 55 years old. But the way we gave away the free kick said a lot today. Going forward, as a club, our personnel, our staff, the way we are, we're okay. You know, we're, we're kind of sorted going forward. The only thing I think we lack is proper wingers. Someone like Asane, um, who just sits really wide. Someone like Anayan Robin, who's really dangerous on that right side, cutting inside. We just, we don't really have that per se, but what we do have is a number of number 10s. You know, you look at Mkhitaryan, um, Wilshire when he plays forward, Meza Ozil, Aaron Ramsey can play at Cam Easley. We have a lot of those types of players, which means we don't play it so wide. It means Bellerin gets forward. It means Monreal, Kolasinac, whoever it is, gets forward. But the problem we have at the club, personnel-wise, staff-wise, clearly, defensively, we're all over the place. We're shocking. Mustafi has his good games, but more often than not, he has bad games. I think Koscielny is unfortunately past it. I don't think we're going to see the best of him anymore. He's still good enough to play for Arsenal. There's no doubt about it, but he is a bit of a liability lately. This season has not been a great one. Monreal's been probably one of our best players, but, you know, he is he's getting older now. 31, I think he's 32 soon. Bellerin is questionable at times defensively. Much, much better going forward. When he crosses the ball, it's often terrible, but when he does it on the ground... It seems to be a lot better, so I hope that he continues doing that. Passing it along the ground into the box seems to be a bit better. So that's where I think Arsenal need to improve. I think defensively, if we can bring in a huge centre-back signing and another centre-back signing that's, you know, for the future, whatever it may be, I don't think Chambers really is going to be, you know, an Arsenal-type player for the rest of his career. I just don't see him improving enough. Could be wrong. I don't think Holding either has the potential to be that great. Mavropanos, I mean, it's it's touch and go with these youngsters, right? 
we need to sign a proven young defender and a world-class defender that's playing at the top of his game now. So if I was to throw some names out there, maybe a Boateng from Bayern. Out of favour, he's been knocked out of that first team by Schuller. By the arrival of Hummels, they've got so many players that are ahead of him in those positions. Boateng would shine at Arsenal. I think he would be a fantastic signing. But maybe if not Boateng, just someone like him, you know, of that quality. I, I actually think he would be a great signing. He would be expensive, but something that we need, a real leader in defence. And as another option, I'd go with someone like Lenglet from, um, from Sevilla. He's done really well this season. He looks to be the perfect Koscielny replacement. He's still young. He's got potential, but he's already at a really good stage in his career ability-wise. He's not a Chambers, a holding, which, you know, fair play to them. They're good young players. They could grow into, into much better players, but they're not quite there yet, are they? Whereas Lenglet does seem to be on his way to greatness. He looks like a very good young player. Uh, maybe a Kimpembe, someone like that. I doubt we'd be able to pull him away from PSG. He's got a great future ahead of him. Uh, Lucas Hernandez, French players, basically. I think if we can sort a CDM and two centre-backs and a new goalkeeper, we're going to be fine. And it's bad news about Thomas Tuchel. It looks like he has signed with PSG for next year. Big rumours going around that he has agreed with them. Um, hasn't signed anything yet, but has basically agreed that he will take over from next season, which is a huge loss, if true, because I think he could come into Arsenal and do a fantastic job for us. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where we're at the moment. I think that if we can if we can win this, this Europa League and see Wenger go on a high, bring in a new manager, bring in two centre-backs, a CDM and a goalkeeper, which can be done. It can. We've got the money. Just, just spend it, you know? If we do that, keep the players at the club that we want, Give Jack Wilshere a new contract, Aaron Ramsey a new contract, get Lacazette and um, and uh, Obama Yang playing together. Just get the team ready for next season where we can start fresh. Bring in those defensive players. We'll be golden. And I don't think we will have a huge lapse like like a lot of people will predict, you know, where we just go really bad for a few years, dropping really far down from our high expectations really and then rising again in the future I think we could probably just just kick off you know from there um, but really tonight was all about that first 45 minutes and what we saw there was our team with chemistry everything you want to see in a team was on display tonight in that first 45 minutes except from the free kick it was it was a 10 out of 10 first half it really was Meza Ozil was unbelievable Aaron Ramsey man of the match could have easily had four tonight Finished with two. Almost got his second hat-trick of the season following the one he scored against Everton, I think it was. Mkhitaryan was brilliant, although looks like he has picked up an injury. I don't know the, I don't know what's happened there. I, I'm hoping he's going to be okay because he's vital for us. Lacazette got two goals tonight. One penalty, one fantastic goal from the uh, edge of the box. Just everything was groovy tonight. And I'm so pleased that we're going to go to Russia, which is going to be a very, very difficult night. It's going to be... Very late in Russia. Apparently, kickoff time locally is going to be uh, just after 10 o'clock in the evening. So we're going to be going on into, you know, pretty much midnight local time. The team's going to be tired. It's going to be cold. It's going to be aggressive. They're going to be much more physical. They're going to have a bit more possession. It's going to be a tougher game, a really tough atmosphere. But we go there with a three-goal cushion. You know, they do have the away goal, which, which can... It can mean that they're still in with a chance here. It's not completely tie over, but we can go there and knowing that we do have a nice lead and even a nil-nil. Even if we play like crap and get a one-nil loss, we still go through. So uh, I'm, I'm most pleased. I really am. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I need to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think so. I mentioned Bellerin and the fact that crossing on the ground's better. I want to definitely mention that. Um, I mentioned about the defensive, but yeah, I think, I think I've gone through everything, you know, I don't need to talk too much about it. I think what we're going to do now is, um, you know, look forward to Southampton and get that game out of the way because I hate playing against Southampton. There's something about that fixture. I always hate it. And then just look forward to the next fixture uh, against CSKA because the sooner we get through to the semis, the better. That's going to be a huge weight off our shoulders. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy these Operation Arsenal videos, make sure you subscribe and click that bell to stay notified whenever I upload because YouTube don't really tell you now. They don't. They're just like, yeah, you've uploaded, but we're not going to tell your subscribers. 
Um, but I will see you for the next one very soon.